everybody, and this is a supplemental instruction series of videos for Chemistry 121. I'm Joey Smoking, and in today's episode we're going to be talking about oxidation reduction reactions. And on the board we have an example of one of those things. We have zinc and copper sulfate reacting to make zinc sulfate and copper. Now you've probably noticed in this reaction not too much has changed. You know, we still have zinc, still have sulfate, still have copper. But what has happened, as is typical for most oxidation reduction reactions, is a change of electrons. Basically, it's gone from one substance to another substance. It's a flow of, of electrons, okay? So whenever we have an oxidation reduction reaction, we have something that's reduced, in other words, it gained electrons, and then we have something that was oxidized, which lost the electrons, okay? So in this particular example, we have the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent, which are the parts that do the reducing and the oxidizing, okay? So here we have the zinc, which is the reducing agent. Now what it does is it has basically a store of electrons which it can give to something else to do the reducing but it itself becomes oxidized in the process. So basically it's saying, I have electrons, I'm gonna give them up and let you have them. That's what's going on. So what's happening here with the zinc is that it's giving the electrons to the copper, okay? Now this makes sense because sulfate has a negative two charge. In other words, in order for it to be bonded to the copper, it's basically taking the two electrons from copper, which gives the copper the positive two charge. So what the zinc does is it says, hey, sulfate, I have a couple of electrons, I'm gonna give these to you if you give your electrons back to copper. So that's exactly what happened, and that's why over here we have copper all by itself. Here it had the positive two charge, it gained two electrons, and became just regular old copper again. But on the flip side, since copper is the oxidizing agent, electrons, but it had to steal it from the zinc. So the zinc ended up getting the positive 2 charge, and now it's bonded with the sulfate. Okay? So that's basically all it is, you know, the flow of electrons going from one thing to another. Electrons from zinc to copper, so that way the zinc is bonded with the sulfate, and the copper is all by itself now. Okay? And this is an example of a single displacement reaction as well. So it's pretty typical that an oxidation reduction reaction is also going to be a single displacement. That's kind of the cue you might want to look for. Also, what you want to look for in an oxidation reduction reaction is the presence of metals, especially ones like the transitional metals, you know, zinc and copper. Those ones are pretty common in oxidation reduction reactions. Now, I threw you a couple of terms that are probably a little bit confusing, you know, like oxidizing agent and reducing agent, which one's what. So, a little thing to help you remember that, well, we have two monomics for you. Leo the lion says ger. What this one is saying is that a loss of electrons is oxidation and a gain of electrons is reduction. The other one is oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So it's basically telling you which one or the things are going as far as the electrons go. Okay? So this is a basic example of an uh, oxidation reduction reaction. It'd probably be a good idea for you to go out there and kind of practice with some different ones and get comfortable with what's going on. Basically just remember, it's the flow of your electrons and that makes electricity happen as well. Alright? You guys go out there and have some fun. <laughs> 